college professor began her class by holding up a bottle of water. She asked the students, how much do you think this bottle weighs? One pound, two pounds, three pounds, the students answered. And then she said, imagine I hold this bottle like this for a few minutes. What do you think would happen? One of the students shouted, nothing. So she said, what if I was to hold this bottle for a few hours? The student said that her arm would then start to hurt. So she asked again, and what if I was to hold this bottle for 24 hours? They said you would be in extreme pain, your arm could fall off or be totally aching. The professor then said, notice the weight of the bottle didn't change during that time at all. The only thing that changed was the length of time I was holding it. She said this bottle represents our challenges, our problems, our worries, our stress and anxiety, and it shows that the longer we hold on to them, the more damage and harm they can cause us. Your peace is more important than driving yourself crazy trying to understand why something happened the way it did. Let it go. As Eckhart Tolle said, sometimes letting things go is an act of far greater power than defending or hanging on. We don't let it go because we think we can control it. If a person shows you their true colors, don't waste your energy trying to repaint them. If a situation isn't serving you or growing you, don't try to control it. Let it go. Stop wasting energy on people who make you feel like you are hard to love. One of the best moments in life is finding the courage to let go of what you cannot change. It's not holding on that's the issue. It's what we're holding on to. We can either hold on to things that weigh us down or lift us up. Sometimes the weight we want to lose isn't on our body. The most expensive real estate in the world isn't Dubai, it's not Singapore, it's not New York or San Francisco, it's your mind. Don't let anything or anyone stay there for free. You have to understand that people come and go. Stop holding on to those who let go of you a long time ago. Sometimes the person who hurt you, they won't have the answers. You have to find them yourself. They won't have the reasons, you have to learn them yourself. They won't give you closure, you have to do that yourself. And remember, if we don't heal the pain of our past, we will bleed all over our future. Just set it down and walk away.